My name is Eileen Beaudry, and I'm the author of Laughing Your Way to Heaven. I've been on the path since age six, so about five decades now, and my journey has taken me from Catholicism to shamanism. I have tried a number of different practices to help me connect to source, vision quests, sweat lodges. I looked into astrology, energy healing, past life regression. Anything that could help me understand the spiritual self and the journey we're on to connect with Divine Source. In midlife, I had a spiritual crisis. I went through infertility and a divorce, and I lost faith. I put my spiritual books away, I fired my angels, and I took a break. A few years later, my innate cravings for a spiritual life returned, but I decided I wanted it to be different this time. First of all, I wanted it to fit into my day-to-day -day life and not be something extra that I had to find time for on top of a very busy schedule. Second, I wanted to bring more humor and laughter to the journey and to the spiritual work. As Thoreau states, God is a comedian playing to an audience too afraid to laugh. I wanted to have practices um, that brought in laughter and gave me permission to bring humor to the work. And third, I wanted my practices to be concrete, practical, and applicable. I have uh, compiled a list of 22 unconventional tools to ignite your spirituality. And they work. They work for me. I've benefited from them. And I want to share them with others. I believe they could help others as well. I've, uh, I believe the book will appeal to three different audiences. One, women in ages 35 through 70 who've been on the path for some time, who are looking for something a little unconventional, more lighthearted, something with a different perspective. I believe they would appreciate the practical exercises as well. Second, newcomers to spiritual work who are looking for a book that covers a variety of topics, compassion, forgiveness, death, anger, rage, dealing with your inner critic, boredom, um, as opposed to a book that mainly focuses on one topic. They will especially appreciate the exercises which allow them to take the ideas and apply them directly to their own life. And third, rabbis, priests, non ministers, folks who want to bring more humor to their sermons and their teaching. Thanks so much for listening and please enjoy my proposal.